Okay, in this video, I want to go over uh, kind of a quick way to add detail to your models. Uh, plasticity doesn't have any sort of texture in or anything like that. It's got a, a simple material system. So as you can see, my model here, it's got some basic materials. I broke off certain pieces so they can have different materials. But, you know, it also needs like tail markings and a bunch of other things. So that's where this little technique will come in handy for you. You can add decals or stickers in a sense to your model and it looks pretty good and it actually renders out really nice in Blender. And I'm going to show you real quick how to go about it. So let me click on my little decal folder. I've got a whole bunch of them already made. And as you can see, I got tail markings, numbers. You know, I even got uh, these little skull and crossbones here showing how many kills he has, whatever, what have you. And uh, it's really fun and easy to do this. Um, you can make most of this inside plasticity, like the star right here. I made it all inside here, just lines and curves and trimming them and stuff like that. And all you're doing is projecting it to the surface. So let me show you how I go about it here. So let's uh, dive into the curves that I use the projections. So as you can see, here's all the different curves I use to project all the different markings and decals throughout the model. So some, like I said, like these guys here, the tail back here was all done inside plasticity. Didn't have to exit the application. Um, to get the very fancier ones, like uh, these particular numbers here, this particular font is not available inside the program. So I had to export it out of uh, Adobe Illustrator. So, and bring it in as a DXF file. Now, Studio version and Windows version is the only ones that can do this, that can, Im that can import those files. So if you have the indie version or on Mac or Linux, you're not going to be able to do, the, do that at this time. But like I said, you can create these uh, inside the program. So let's hop over to uh, Illustrator. I need to get another graphic to put on the other side of the plane. It's kind of barren here. Okay, so I'm going to show you that part real fast. So I need uh, this logo here, the U.S. Navy. So... Right now, it's just uh, set up as a font. Um, so what I need to do is expand it, break it down to its individual components. We don't need the fill. Okay. And then ungroup it. Now it's all the individual pieces there. And I need to quickly uh, get rid of the fill. You don't want any fill. So all you're doing is just selecting just the curves. That's all we need is the curves. So if we go up File and go down to export as and I'm just gonna call this Navy because that's what it is a Navy Corsair from the 1940s uh, also marine and all that so and I'm just gonna change it to millimeters change it to one uh, scale is not really 100% important because I don't have meters in there so I'm just gonna do millimeters for now and then click OK so it created our DXF. So now I can go into plasticity. I can do import append. And let's go find Navy. Navy DXF. Open. Dialog will pop up. You won't see anything just yet. And go ahead and click on all these little operators here. Uh, the first four. Heal, heal, compute, and merge. And this should... Uh, correct anything that's goofy about the DXF because it's very finicky. Click OK and boom, there it is. So I'm going to bring him up a little bit, bring him over. OK, let's start rotating him around. Get to the side here where I want it. Bring him down, bring him back. Probably not exactly where I'll end up going with it, but for the time being, that's where he's going to go. He's going to go right here. Okay. All right, cool. Perfect. So now what I want to do, I want to make a copy of what I want to 
projected to. So we're going to just click the two faces that it's going to project to, Shift D, and then hold down Alt and Shift. Select your text there. For some reason that one is not coming, so Shift. Okay, I got them. All right, period. Good. All right. So now let's select our navy again. I'm just going to select it that way. Get ourselves oriented just right, and we're going to do Shift I and then select our part. And there we go. Project it over nicely. So I can hit period again. Actually, I'm just going to deselect, deselect. All right, so now let's see if I can select that sheet there. I'm going to do Control-3, and what we're going to do is we're going to offset it just ever so slightly. So I'm working in meters here, so 0 0.0003, which is about 0 0.3 millimeters, if you're working in millimeters. Okay, that's not going to cut it. Let's do control Zero four this time. No. So we can, we're going to keep on doing this until we don't see any of that underside there. We're almost there. Seven. Just about. Just a hair more. Typically, point zero 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 three works pretty good, but this time not so much. Okay. It's happy now. All right. So now I'm just going to isolate him again, and we're going to fix a couple things. Select that. Select that. And shift backspace. Boom. Gone. Cool. All right. Now you can see we have achieved the look we're going for here. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to hide that. I am going to hide all the curves here, and I we're going to go take a look inside of Blender using the bridge. So I already got a scene set up here. Just hit in on your panel there. We're going to connect to plasticity, and then all we have to do is refresh. Only visible. That's what we want. And give it a second to compute, and boom, there she is. Everything has flown over there. I'm going to go ahead and just do the body real quick while I can see everything. I'm just going to assign some pre-made materials that I already have. And then I'm going to link them together. I've got a hotkey F5. Otherwise, you do Control L link material. Okay, so now I can go into cycles here and we can start taking a look at this. Cool. So, so now it's just a matter of going through and creating materials for this. So this one and this one. Nope, not that one. It's going to be, I already have some pre-made ones here. And always got to link them together. It'd be nice if I didn't have to do that here. So go over here, we can see our US Navy on the side here. But let's zoom in here and you can kind of see, let me deselect it. As you can see, for this particular one, you can see that the offset it was a little extreme, so you can see it just ever so slightly. But if you come back to like this guy here, you can barely see it. So from a distance, it's going to look pretty good. So my thought is this is a quick, easy way for, for you to get decent-looking, quick decals. And you can uh, make your model look you know, kind of cool for a quick presentation. And then down the road, you can texture everything up nice and neat. So... But that is basically it for this one. I uh, hope you learned something, and we will definitely catch you in the next video.